This is a fake video made with Google AI Ultra's VO3 Studio. Is it worth the $250? I don't know. I'm just a prompt. Let me show you if Google AI Ultra is worth it. I'm gonna pay the $250 here. This is not clickbait. This is not expect element. Yes, Google has released a plan that's $250 a month. We're gonna find out if it's worth it. So everyone that was bashing on ChatGPT about the $200 pro plan, Google just said, you know what? I'm gonna one up it. <laughs> I'm a one up it. So I'm gonna walk through every single one of its perks. With the Gemini app, Flow, which allows us to create those VO3 AI videos that are fake. Whisk, access to a decent amount of credits, 12,500, so we'll see what that means. Notebook, LM, access to Gemini in our Gmail, Docs, and Vids. Project Mariner, one that's actually kind of cool is they just throw in YouTube Premium, which makes sense. I mean, if you're paying $250, you got to you add a cherry on top. So that's kind of cool. And then finally storage with a ton of storage here, like 30 terabytes. Okay, let's hurt my wallet here and get Google AI Ultra. One thing to know is that this needs to be associated with a personal account. If you try this with workspaces like a business account, right now it doesn't seem to be an option. We are subscribed $250 a month. How did we go from $20 a month to that? All right, what's happening? Let's check out one of the major features here that people are probably paying that 254, which is the ability to do that VO3 generation. Now, if you don't know what this is, just watch this. I'm gonna put in streamer getting a victory royale with just his pickaxe. I'm gonna come to the settings here, quality, and we'll do the highest quality here. What's crazy about this is Sora has no audio. This has audio. Enter. Mind you that every single time you do one of these generations, it's gonna cost credits here. And as you can see, it looks like it cost me around 300 credits to do what I'm about to do right now. Therefore, this $250 plan isn't a, you get unlimited video generation. It's a usage-based system on that 250 USD. Also, this prompt is inspired by an X thread that I saw earlier today. I'm really curious if I can replicate what I saw in that thread. Corbin, you have to shout out the creator that did it. Okay, my bad. Matt over here. Thank you, Matt. So here's an example of some videos we got from that simple prompt here. Let's check out both. Whoa, it's already weird seeing an AI video, but it's weirder with the audio. Okay, let's check out the other one. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, yes. What the heck? Okay, so it got the typing noise. It got the audio yell. So this is one of the main reasons a lot of people are going to go for this $250 plan. Let's see what else. As a side note, if you think that was super cool, make sure you subscribe here. I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to this flow AI video creation situation. See what we can come up with. See the limitations of it and everything above the board. And you might be like, what's in the cup, Corbin? What's in the cup? You already know that Texas coffee straight black. I like it with no sugar. Let's keep proceeding. Next major thing advertised in this $250 plan is higher limitations when it comes to chatting with these models, whether that is Flash, Pro, or personalization based off your search history. I didn't even know that was a thing, so that's kind of cool. But the big one advertised here for extended use would be the 2.5 Pro. Click that. Then coming down here and asking a question that is pretty complex. So we'll ask the question that everyone's wondering, what is the meaning of life? <laughs> you can put it on deep research. And if you don't know what deep research is, I did a whole other video on it. I'll see if I can leave it in the description down below. It's really cool. It goes across the entire internet. It's like a ton of resources. We're talking 50, 70 different websites, articles, research papers, and makes it a final product of a really nice research report. Also seems like you can upload your own files as well. Enter 250 USD. You have more ability to chat with Gemini app. Now I assume if you're paying $250, you probably get a ton of usage when it comes to this. One other side note is the AI credits that we saw associated over here, 12,200. That doesn't apply here. You have the ability to keep proctoring at it. So the other area your AI credits apply to is Whisk. So let's go ahead and check it out. We're going to enter the tool. I actually kind of like this UI. It's a little out of bounds of what we're used to but I kind of like this UI. I might have to make a whole video on Whisk. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. This is really cool though. So idea here is that we can either add images for reference to create images and animate them, or we can just simply ask for a specific type of image. Think of this like Dali that we've seen in the past. For example, polar bear snowboarding. So this one's actually pretty cool here. And what we can do is that with this image, we can hit animate. Once we hit animate, we got to say what we want to see. I want to see this polar bear man snowboarding. Enter. So what you'll note is that we lose credits and what is identified is that each video generation is equivalent to 10 credits. So that's always good to know. Obviously the earlier video that we saw when we created a little Fortnite situation, that was pretty expensive when it came to credits, but it seems like they give you the liberty to do a ton of different stuff when it comes to whisk. So we got our video, no audio, go. Not bad. Actually kind of cool how it actually stays in frame. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's actually not bad at all. So that's Whisk. I honestly, first time using Whisk, I kind of like this UI. It make it fun. It, it feels like, you know, 2012 or when you're playing on the DS, if you played on the DS with a stylus, you know, when you're clicking around and drawing it, I think it was Picto Chat. You know what Picto Chat is, come on. You already know Picto Chat was a classic, especially when you were riding the bus or playing DS. Picto Chat was amazing. Whatever happened to Picto Chat. I'm realizing too, I probably butchered how you say that, or maybe I said it perfectly. So the other advantage of the $250 plan is that you get more limits when it comes to notebook LLM, if you even use this. That's one thing you'll notice with this plan is essentially you can still get access to the core functionalities of all these different products. You're just getting higher usage. Therefore, that's why they price it so high as that if you're a power user, you probably are going to opt for this kind of plan. Although 250 is that's quite a lot. That's a quite a big chunk of change right there. The other advantages of this plan is integrating Gemini into Google Docs, presentation, everything like that. So what I'm going to do, because I've already done videos on this topic. So if you want to get a better idea of the capabilities of Gemini in this context, I'm going to go to leave a playlist in the description down below or possibly just videos referencing. This is the Google Doc video. This is the slides video, and you can check out whether you'd even want to use this capability. In addition, you probably have already seen this in your Gmail a little bit, so you kind of get the idea for Gmail at least, helping you draft, helping you rewrite an email, etc. The other one we get access to is Project Mariner, which honestly looks pretty interesting. I might need to make a video on this. What this looks like is what we saw with ChatGBT and the agents that take control of your computer. So let's just check out a demo real quick. Check my email for recently delivered closet then find a tasker on TaskRabbit to assemble it. The AI is the one causing all the clicking over here as this chat's incurring here. And yeah, this is kind of what we saw earlier with the pro plan of ChatGBT, but it seems like we're getting access to this only on the higher level $250 USD plan. Idea being here though, essentially you have the AI agent do all the heavy lifting of researching and stuff like that. This stuff is so beta, so early that right now, it probably isn't worth the 250 USD, but it's definitely super cool just to check out. And then of course, you saw earlier that you get YouTube premium. So no ads if you're watching my channel. And finally, 30 terabytes in your Google account. So is the 250 USD plan worth it? It just depends on your use case. If functionally you don't find yourself hitting the limits for a lot of these products, I don't really see the big incentive to do it. Obviously the elephant in the room, not quite literally, is the VO3. That's got to be the coolest thing about this. So I'll make sure I make more videos on that to see if it's worth your money. To be fair, when it came to Sora, ChatGPT, we're looking at 200 USD to do their version of AI video. But as you already know, make sure you leave a like. It's completely free. Those are two random videos. That is my face. And that is also my face. And I'll see you in the next video.